Welcome to the Wonder Why Lab, the place where curious kids become awesome explorers. Today's big question is, how did your body heal from a cut? Let's find out together. Ouch! You fall down and scrape your knee. You look down and see red. It's bleeding. But don't worry, your body is on the job. The moment your skin breaks, your body goes into action mode. It's like a superhero alarm system going off inside you. First, blood rushes to the cut. That's why you see it start to bleed. But blood isn't just red stuff, it's full of tiny helpers. One special helper is called platelets. These are like little sticky patches that rush in to plug the hole. When platelets get to the cut, they stick together and form a soft plug. Then, a magical thing happens. They call for help from special proteins in your blood to clot or thicken around the area. This clot dries out and turns into something you've probably seen before. It's called a scab. The scab is like your skin's band-aid. It covers and protects the area while the real healing begins underneath. But what if dirt or germs sneaked into your cut? That's where another group of superheroes arrives, called white blood cells. These amazing cells zoom to the cut and start fighting off any bad bacteria that could cause an infection. They clean up the mess and destroy anything that doesn't belong. Think of them as tiny germ-eating vacuum cleaners working round the clock to keep you safe. Now that the bleeding has stopped and the germs are gone, it's time to rebuild. Your body sends and repair cells to create brand new skin. These cells work together to close up the cut from the inside out. They build layers of tissue like tiny construction workers laying bricks. This part of healing takes the longest, but your body knows exactly what to do. As the new skin gets stronger, the scab on top isn't needed anymore, and the one day it just falls off. Underneath, fresh, healthy skin almost like nothing ever happened. Ever notice your cut starts to itch while it heals? That's totally normal. It happens because the nerves in your skin are waking up again and adjusting to the new tissue. Your body is basically saying, hey, something's going on here. As tempting as it is, Try not to scratch it, thing, as it can slow down healing or even pull off your scab too early. Here are some amazing facts about how your body heals. Number one, your skin is your largest organ and it repairs itself faster than almost any other part of your body. Number two, kids heal faster than adults because their cells are newer and more active. Number three, scabs are like nature's band-aids but cooler because your body made them all by itself. Number four, your blood contains millions of tiny helpers ready to work the moment you get hurt. Isn't your body amazing? Let's do a quick recap of what we learned. When you get a cut, blood rushes to the rescue. Platelets form a clot and a scab forms to protect the injury. White blood cells fight off germs. New skin grows under the scab. The scab falls off when healing is done. And your skin is good as new. All this happens automatically thanks to the incredible systems inside you Thanks for exploring the science of cuts and healing with us at the Wonder Why Lab. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and share it with your fellow curious minds. Until next time, stay curious scientists.